Welcome back to Longevity Now, Longevity Now, FL, the channel where we explore the science and philosophy of healthy longevity and well-being. I'm Professor Luigi Fontana, and here we dive deep into the latest research, practical strategies, and timeless wisdom that can help us live not just longer lives, but healthier and more meaningful ones. Intermittent fasting and more recently time-restricted eating have become some of the most popular trends in health and longevity. But here's a question. What if eating all your meals in less than eight hours a day could actually increase your risk of dying from heart disease? A new study followed nearly 20,000 U.S. adults between 2003 and 2018, tracking both their eating patterns and their mortality outcomes. Researchers compared people based on how many hours a day they spent eating, from less than eight hours all the way up to more than 16. But here's what they found. People who ate all their meals in under eight hours a day had more than double the risk of dying from cardiovascular disease compared to those who spread their meals over 12 to 14 hours. And for those who already had heart disease or diabetes, the risk was even greater, about three times higher. That's a striking finding, and it's in line with other research over the past two years suggesting that both intermittent fasting and time-restricted eating may actually increase the risk of mortality. Now, it's important to point out, this study shows an association, not proof that fasting itself causes harm, but the details are telling. People who ate in less than eight hours a day tended to be younger, more likely to smoke, less physically active, and often consumed fewer calories, but of lower diet quality. That means lifestyle factors may explain part of this connection. So what does this mean for fasting? Should you stop altogether? Not necessarily. The takeaway is that fasting isn't a magic bullet for health or longevity. Eating fewer calories of poor quality food can increase health risks. And unfortunately, many people treat intermittent fasting or time-restricted eating as a quick fix without improving the quality of their diet True healthy longevity doesn't come from one trick, it's the result of a balanced lifestyle. A whole food, primarily plant-based diet with the right calories, proteins, vitamins, minerals, oligo, galaments, phytochemicals, and dietary fiber. Regular but moderate physical activity, both cardio resistance and flexibility. High quality sleep. Deep sleep is more important than the total amount of sleep stress management, mindfulness, deep breathing exercises, and even emotional, spiritual, and social well-being. In short, eating within eight hours a day might not deliver the benefits people expect, and in some cases it could even be risky, especially if paired with poor nutrition, smoking, or existing health problems. Longevity is built on balance, not shortcuts. So what do you think? Is this the end of extreme intermittent fasting, or just a reminder to approach it with caution? And that's everything for today. I hope you found this video helpful and thought-provoking. This is Longevity Now FL. I'm Dr. Luigi Fontana, physician scientist, professor of medicine, and currently the scientific director of the Charles Perkins Center Royal Prince Alfred Clinic at the University of Sydney. Thank you for watching. Stay curious, stay healthy, and I'll see you in the next episode.